Ian, officials are now reporting over 100 deaths from that monster storm. This area was devastated by Ian. Let's take you up to our drone. This is what it looks like nearly a week after the hurricane. Has now climbed to more than 100 people. Rescue operations continue around the clock. This storm's wrong power defies imagination. Ian, now a tropical storm hit the coast as a fierce hurricane. Shredding homes apart in Placida, Florida, tearing off roofs and splintering trees while in the Tampa area. Extreme winds causing this tree to crash through a home. In one of the hardest hit areas, Fort Myers, there were storm surges nearly seven feet high. Nearly double the previous record more than 20 years ago. Oh my God. Ian packed catastrophic 150 mile an hour winds. It's hell on earth as Hurricane Ian slams into Florida. But we're gonna get smashed here. There are down trees literally everywhere all over this area. This is what Ian looks like from space, a swirling monster. Those flashes, lightning. I can't hear anything and I can't see anything. Today's good morning. I just woke up like seven in the morning right now. And today is, what's today? Tuesday? I think so, yeah. I sound kind of dead because I just woke up and I'm kind of panicking because <laughs> the hurricane. We haven't even prepared or nothing and the hurricane's supposed to hit tomorrow. I'm supposed to go to work, which I'm surprised they have work. God, my chest hurts. I'm like still sleepy. Oh my God, my skin looks good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sleepy as fuck. Whenever I'm supposed to leave to work, I, I can't I like stay up. I don't know. I'm hella tired because I've been waking up hella early the past couple of days. I was going to sleep in today, but then I started checking like social media and then I, I saw that Hurricane Ian, 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 I'm pretty sure it's Ian, um, is supposed to hit us at a category 5. We have not bought anything, which is kind of like stupid, like you know, like if you don't live in Florida, you would understand, like we don't start panicking until like the day before the day of the hurricane which is kind of stupid you know i understand i completely like get it like you know we should like be prepared for it but yeah i don't i don't know the hurricane's supposed to hit tampa area the worst and my mom's closer to tampa than i am so like i'm debating whether i should go and be with them or spend the hurricane with them um or if i should stay with my boyfriend's family <laughs> i was thinking about going right now to the store to buy water but honestly, I feel like everywhere is going to be sold out. Everybody's probably buying water, gas, and shit right now. I have to charge like everything. Little update on my computer. Um, I got a message yesterday from Apple telling me that they fixed it and that they're shipping it out. So I should be receiving it soon. But with this whole hurricane, I don't know when I'll be receiving it. I think I'm going to get ready and I'm going to head out. Um, and I'll take y'all with me. I'll try to record because I don't know how hectic it's gonna be um, as in like how many people, how busy or anything so I'll try to record if I don't, I'm sorry but I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna head out so this is what the sky is looking like I kept the same shirt on because I had just put it on to see the restroom so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it on it's really gloomy I'm gonna go to my mom's and see if my brother can <laughs> I'm gonna go to my mom's and see if my brother can go with me so he can help me like carry the water cases because my back, my back, I need to get ran over at this point. Oh, oh my god, he dented my fucking forehead. This kid's big ass tooth stabbed me in the forehead. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I'm already injured, and the hurricane hasn't even came. You can't even see it, but oh, you see where he slit my fucking with his big ass buckle ass teeth. I shit her. Hello, dogs. Toby. Hey, oh my god. <gasps> I took a mosquito bite. <laughs> Look at him. He already put his leg up. <laughs> they be moaning. Look what. Can y'all hear him? So we went to Walmart, there was no waters, and now we're at Aldi's. We found water bottles at Aldi, 
and right now we're passing through downtown and as you can see over there over there they're already blocking the windows okay so we're at the salon we're just chilling here because my mom's house they don't have cable or internet but it's not because of the hurricane i think it's because the dogs chewed on the cord i don't know so we came to the salon so we're all here how angible does my forehead I'm stuck in traffic right now because everybody's trying to leave from Tampa. This little car is coming to my left. Oh, like it, like it, every this is crazy. Like you see that? And I even supposed to be on on that fucking side of the road. It's literally like the I don't know what the fuck is called, but point is they're not supposed to be there. And everybody's just going hectic. Oh my god, this car is gonna crash. Oh my god. Why are you doing that? You're gonna fuck up your car like that and homeboy has a whole BMW. All that for what? For you just be in the same lane as everybody else? As y'all can see, they're boarding up the windows. The major man. Good morning. Right, guys it is currently 7 8 in the morning no 9 actually this is how the sky is looking hey guys it's 10 o'clock oh shit got me so you can't ever get mad now <laughs> let me see look, 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 look. <laughs> i'm fucking dead oh shit hey you have reverse on me <laughs> We're going to the stores to find like food and shit. Not food, right. but like snacks and toilet paper because we don't have toilet paper. We couldn't find nothing, so then we're gonna go to another store. Oh, I found some toilet paper. We found some food. <laughs> we got here right on time. Hold up. <laughs> we got here right on time because while we were checking out, they were like telling everybody that they were closed already. And it's barely 11. 16. And they have a lot of shit, yeah. as you can tell. But I got my stuff. Oh my god, I have a pimple right here. This hot looking outside. Oh, I don't know if anybody's in that car. But this hot looking outside. Oh, I can't put my window down. My my thing don't work. <laughs> I'm hungry, Loki. We have seen uh, life-threatening storm surge, uh, as was predicted. Uh, we've also seen major flooding. All right, guys, so here, um, it was already 11.30. We were on our way to the salon to pick up some last items. And as you can see, it was rainy, and the roads are empty. Hey, guys, so it is currently 3 o'clock. Um, I took a shower before the lights go out and like before you know if water the water ends up going out. Uh, I'm gonna go outside see how it's going out there. Um, and yeah. So that's what it looks like. There's some moth. Oh, look at the trees. Oh shit! It has officially started, guys. Look, our babies. They're gonna come in once it starts getting much more stronger you can hear the wind like it is just getting stronger and stronger and like it gets stronger it's bro it's like coming i don't i, I can't even talk it's coming so fast i look like a whole man but it's coming so fast it's just crazy like i'm i'm been on tiktok and seeing like everybody's videos and it's just i've seen a video where it said that this hurricane is bigger than Hurricane Charlie in 2004. Expecting to see. I want to show you a comparison between Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Charlie. This is the track that Ian took, okay? You can see it was coming up and across. Let's now go back to 2004 and look at the track that Charlie did. That's Charlie's track there. Look how similar that is. And in fact, look right back down here. Both of them right over Punta Gorda with landfall. Oh my god, there's a bird crying. Oh, y'all hear it? It's somewhere up there. It's, it's supposed to hit us 
probably tonight. For now, last time I checked, it was near Fort Myers. Hello, ball. Say hi. Ah, Scooby. It's back 30, and we're gonna cook some chicken nuggets <laughs> before the electricity goes out. So it is, I believe, 6 o'clock, 6 30. Outside, it is really windy, it's raining still, it's really chilly. Um, but nothing major has happened, and now we're inside and we're gonna watch the Jeffrey Dan show. Dan, Dan, I don't know how, how to pronounce his name. So you can hear like the wind outside. It's crazy. Alright, guys, so it is nine o'clock and we have officially lost electricity. So we have a no light. And it's getting way windier. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can see me, but I don't really have good. Probably ain't that good, but um, you can definitely hear the wind. All right, guys, so it's starting. There's lightning. I'm, I'm not, I'm pretty scared. <laughs> oh my god, it's so scary. Y'all heard dream. that? that was a dream. Oh my god! That was it. That something. No, that was a tree, bro. That you can you know when a well, you know when a tree breaks. Like, oh my god! Let me. I'm Israel. Um, I'm here with Hurricane Ian, a Category Four, about to be a Category Five hurricane. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's not too bad right now. Uh, it could get worse uh, as the night is on. What time is it? Uh, it's ten. It's ten o'clock. And um, yeah, Israel is signing out. Guys, it is currently eight a.m. The hurricane passed already. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks outside. It doesn't look as bad, but I know there is definitely other places around the area that is either flooded or there's more damage. But this is how it looks like outside. Hold on. So there's a lot of branches as you can see on the floor. The nearest tree fell on their front yard, like on the fence. I don't know if they had it like closed, but if they did, it'd be pretty sure if I got the fence. Shout out to this fan. I'm whispering because everybody's still asleep. This is literally what kept me cool all night. It's not even that strong. This is as strong as it goes. And then this one. It's like the lowest. I got it off of Amazon for like 14 bucks. And it's battery operated. So if you need one, that's the one. I had to open the window to the bathroom to let some air in. Because it's kind of hot, I'm not gonna lie. And I just mopped here. So I wanted to dry it, it smells like Clorox and Beano. <laughs> and that tree broke right there. Oh, look at y'all. Hey. There's still a lot of wind. Um, the hurricane has passed now. I don't know if y'all can hear the sirens. People right now are just driving around to see like the damage that the hurricane did. I'm about to go to my mom's house to see like how they're doing everything um and i also want to see like what the hurricane did but right now we're just chilling out here it's really cold there's still a lot of wind so it's probably not gonna stop raining until like tomorrow maybe i don't know we'll have to see i'll keep you guys updated there's no light for real, I'm gonna be sitting here for a minute trying to turn left because these cars aren't gonna stop. Where are my moms? They have no light, but we're here. And oh my god, it's hella muddy. Me either. 
Dang, you fell. Yeah. Wait, Luna, wait. It's so cold, it feels like we're in Seattle. I ain't even been to Seattle. <laughs> I know. I know what it feels like. It looks like it though. This is what it looks like. Seattle, Seattle's like this all the time. Yeah. yeah. We're in a doghouse because it's cold as hell outside. <laughs> Luna, this house is so big, I can stand in it. And then they have a whole AC unit for the damn dogs. <laughs> now I'm telling you. We got the whole kitchen out here. We got Ariane making our tortillas. Our tortillas. Good morning. Today is September 30th. It is Friday. So basically to follow up on the hurricane. Yesterday was like basically a cleanup day where like everybody cleaned up like their front yards and stuff. Or helped other people. I was hoping to be back into the salon today, but there's no we still we still have no life no light. I said no life. We still have no light here. Um and I'm like literally within the next city where my mom is at and they still have no light in the salon. So I guess I don't know. We're just gonna have to basically wait. It's a waiting game now. I know we were really blessed that it didn't hit us as strong as it was supposed to towards the end it did a complete like curve and it was going more mainly toward towards where like Kissimmee Orlando and over there um and even though I'm closer to that area we didn't get that hit that hard it was just a lot of wind and rain like a lot of wind and rain um I slipped right through it I don't even I didn't even wake up in the night during the night and I usually do I usually wake up to use the restroom but this time for some reason I just did it I didn't wake up I slept through it completely I wish that was for everybody you know like they slept through it but obviously some people did get it worse than others um I'd seen a lot of videos of Fort Myers Naples um like a lot of city cities around that area that did in fact experience it way worse um they're like flooded i think the water was like 12 feet it was just crazy um um my sister she lives in clear water she was mandatory to evacuate and i'm glad she did because boy they would have been flooded she would have been flooded over there um there's not much flooding here there's a little flooding like more towards where like um <clears throat> tampa area around that area growing up here in florida like obviously like the hurricanes are always like a thing because it, it's always happening you just never know when a real hurricane like the that hurricane is gonna come and just you know today is just it's really sunny outside as you can tell because i'm using sunlight to be able to see and be able to do my um skincare i'm gonna go ahead and get ready and i will see you guys in a bit so there's more to this. It's two trees. I made a whole bridge. I can cross over. <laughs> oh, that's how he did it. Cut. Here reporting live <laughs> with why do you always gotta laugh at everything? We started cleaning the backyard. We have this big ass mountain. Oh, look at what the, the tree did to me. Why is it my, oh, this was the tree did when I fell off. Well, not fell off, but like was sliding off. Then we have Angelo cleaning as he should. <gasps> look at Dulce. She enjoys the sun. Right, Dulce, you enjoying the sun? <laughs> um, We already cleaned up most of everything. What I got. 
Why are you all up in my face? <laughs> Hey guys, update. So today's Monday. Um, yesterday was Sunday, obviously. Um, yesterday, I finally got power at my house. So yay, because I no longer take cold ass showers, bro. I felt like I was in Mexico. On top of that, I would <laughs> I heated up my water in a pot because it was just too cold. And honestly, the first night, I we did shower with cold water, and I want. I think I got because I'm sick right now. I think I got sick because of the, the way that the climate changed so fast. Like after Hurricane Ian, I was gonna say Irma. Once Hurricane Ian hit, literally that same night, it was cold as fuck. And then the next day, it was cold too. And then now it's kind of like it's it's cool, it's chilly, it's not as cold, but it's not hot. At, it was not as hot as it used to be before Ian hit. My mom got power, I want to say Friday. And right now we're at the salon and we are taking donations for everybody who was affected by Ian. And so far right now, this is all we have. Bro, shout out to my mom, bro. Like literally, like, look at this shit. It's fruits. We have bananas, plums, tomatoes, oranges, potatoes more whatever these type of oranges are cucumbers tomatoes apples oranges avocados toothpaste blankets pads clothes i'm not 100 percent sure what that is um i'm assuming it's baby clothes bananas i don't know what the hell this is papaya yeah papaya and those long ass looking cucumbers things um, we have potatoes, carrots. We have my mom. Shout out to my mom because she got she got all this shit, bro. She came in clutch. Is that how you say it? She came in. My mom's salon is across from Strawberry Festival. Y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see over there. That's where all like the linemen are at. They all stay there. And these are, I believe, people that came down from other states. I'm assuming. So shout out to them. Yeah. So basically that's the update thankfully you know me and my family we weren't as uh, we weren't affected as much but you know other people did lose home they did lose their homes lost everything and honestly like thinking about it like it's kind of sad and i don't know if it's because i'm like i'm emotional right now like i'm sick so when i get sick i'm like 10 times more emotional i feel like i'm gonna die to be honest it's really sad because you lose everything, you lose your house, you lose your clothes, memories, photographs, like bro, like, oh, like thinking about it, like if, if, oh my God, I try to put myself in their shoes. Breaking Ian was supposed to hit like where I live. It was supposed to hit us the worst, but then it turned and it went more towards Orlando and they experienced flooding. But like Wesley Chapel, no, no, not Wesley Chapel. I mean, um, Fort Myers, Cape Coral, um, Naples. They all like the small islands of Florida. They all lost, almost lost everything. Like it's just, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen the pictures by now. It's just devastating. And like I said, like I try to put myself in their shoes and. What I mean, like, what makes me emotional about it is that, like, I, like, for example, like, the only things I have, the only things I have left of my dad are memories, like, pictures. To think that people have only these type of items left of their loved ones and a hurricane come and just wash it away, it's kind of like, you know, like, I, I don't know, it just makes me emotional because, like, I don't know what I would do if I lost all these memories. So, I can imagine how they feel like you know like losing your house like losing everything you have like that's just I don't know I don't know how I, I, I obviously I would be fucking crying for days like I don't know how I would I don't know so I'm sending all my prayers and love to those who were affected as I will have uh, links in the description box where you can donate this was my experience with the hurricane um I'm sending prayers and love to all those who were extremely affected um but yeah that is it for this video and 
I will see you guys in my next one.